So guys, I got something to confess. As most of you know who watch the channel, a little while ago we introduced a new barn cat to the farm. His name's Fozzie Bear and just the other day he roamed the farm for the first time and he's doing great. He's doing great. But I need to confess something to you guys and we'll get into that in just a minute. There's way too much testosterone in here. All these roosters crowing. <laughs> there's two Rhode Island roosters in here, plus Michael Jackson, the light Sussex. Then there's Big Red over in the other pen and quintuple black leghorn roosters. <laughs> I got something really great to confess to you guys, but you're gonna have to wait a little bit because I gotta finish up the animal chores first. Stormy and the new guy, Fozzie Bear, they're still feeling each other out. You know, the Stormy's creeping up on them and they're just like, <laughs> but they didn't do anything. They didn't, no swats. But uh, Fozzie swatted Molly in the head a couple times because Molly just won't leave him alone. <laughs> Fozzie's doing okay though, guys. I'm happy at least he didn't wander away so far. It's been like many days. I've been letting him out of the barn so he can get familiar with what's going on out here. <laughs> Since I got all of the roofing done, well, I got two sections still that I have to put shingles, but all the wood is on. It's very dark in here, very dark. I mean, it's a cloudy day, so that's probably not a good judgment, but definitely gonna need some lights in here. How you doing, Elvis? 
You a hunk of hunk of burning love? <laughs> Guys, I confess, we've had these kittens for two months now. Two months. You have to understand though, that they were feral. They come from a barn, not too far from here, but about an hour from here. These guys needed to be trapped. Farmer had far too many cats there. He was just looking to find good, proper homes for these cats. They're not suitable for house cats because they were feral. But I had a few tricks up my sleeve in this laundry room right now, there's four kittens. These are our new kittens to the farm and you can see that they're a little wild. So I'm calling on these four kittens, the claw crew. They got serious claws, whoa! Did you see that? Oh, they scratched me, look at that. Ah, <laughs> it's a black one. <laughs> look at the eyes. So guys, let me just give you a little preface on these kitties. I've been looking for kitties for a while now. It was in our plan for this summer to get kitties and then old Smokey, he uh, he got sick and then he ended up wandering away and disappearing as most of you already know. But these kittens were already kind of being held for me and on the way. The trouble with these kittens is that they are a little bit feral. They're not like super wild, but they're a little bit feral, definitely. And, uh, you know, it's going to take a little bit of effort on our part to make them friendly, make them, you know, like you and like life. You know, they're pretty scared of everything right now. When you're taming feral cats, you really got to keep them contained. And uh, when I'm feeding them, I take them out and I feed them myself because it's important for them to know that I'm giving them the food. They're not, they're not just miraculously finding food. I'm the one giving them the food.
This girl right here, guys, her name is Maggie Mae. You know, like the Rod Stewart song? Wake up, Maggie, I think I got something to say to you. <laughs> That's her, Maggie Mae. She's a little shy. She doesn't really like being picked up, but I'm working on her. You can see I'm able to handle them. I'm able to love them, and they're not really giving me a problem. Once in a while, they scratch me, but not on purpose, just because they're young kittens and they're playing. This girl right here, her name's Lovely, and she is pretty lovely, I mean, for a feral kitten. Isn't she lovely? <laughs> She's pretty beautiful. So there's four kittens. I call them the claw crew. Claws are dangerous. But these kittens stayed with us in our house inside for the first six weeks because they were just wild. Like you couldn't approach them. You couldn't touch them. He's biting my finger right now. This is Dexter Morgan. Dexter Morgan. You know why he's called Dexter Morgan? You know the TV show, Dexter Morgan, where he was a blood splatter specialist for the cops, but really he was a secret serial killer? That's this guy, Dexter Morgan, because he's a killer. <laughs> Look at his ears, they're so pointy. He's a guy, he's, he's a good size. Like he's like almost the size of Stormy already. We got him pretty calm too. You know, he can be hyper at times, but really I think it's because they're being locked up. Last but not least, we have Chunk. <laughs> Chunky. <laughs> we call him Chunky. You know why we call him Chunky? He's a male, he's a male kitten. But look at his stomach. It's a huge stomach. Huge. Whoa. Yeah, this guy's name is Chunk. Chunky. Chunk for short. He's named after the Chunk character in the movie The Goonies. You remember The Goonies, guys? There's a character in there named Chunk, and he always does the truffle shuffle because he's a little bit chunky, eh? And then there's a guy named Sloth, and he's always like, Sloth, love Chunk. <laughs> this uh, guy, Chunk, he's a little bit feisty too, eh? Two boys and two girls, lovely, and Maggie Mae, they're both girls. And Dexter Morgan, Dexter for short. And Chunky, Chunk for short. They're both dudes. I've been feeding them this. This is uh, Purina Kitten Chow. I don't know, for the first how many months these guys need to get the proper nutrients, you know, that a kitten needs for good, strong growth. I think I'm turning into a cat guy, folks. I mean, Stormy and Smokey kind of turned me into a cat guy, and that's a big deal, I think. I was always a dog guy by nature, but Smokey and Stormy, those two barn cats, I know that Smokey's not around, but you know, I'll never forget Smokey. Smokey, Smokey is responsible for turning me into a cat guy. And that's, that's, that's saying something. That's a big deal. It's a little bit of a relief that I can get this off my chest. I've been holding in this secret for a couple of months now. <laughs> These cats are gonna be something. They're gonna add to the feline complement here at the farm. They're gonna help us keep the rodent population down and they're fun to play with, eh guys? So once I'm completely confident that they're very tame, not any, there's no feralness left in them, then I'll take them to the vet because I want them to be fully vaccinated, you know, because they're outdoor cats. We got these kittens when they were about eight weeks old, eight or nine weeks. They're, they're growing quick. They're growing really quick. The geese are so loud, eh? 
The geese are so loud. <laughs> Molly, let's go. Let's go. Only two measly duck eggs today guys. I guess they'll lay the rest out in the orchard there. <laughs> There's nine hens. I only got two eggs in there last night. It's gonna be a lot of fun guys with these kittens running around the farm. <laughs> Let's go check on them one last time. I don't see them. That means they're all waiting by the door because they want to escape. It's going to be pretty fun having all these cats around the farm. Stormy, what are you doing up there? Stormy! Hey! What do you think this is? Hey! You're not a fisher cat! You're not a fisher cat! Get down from there! It's dangerous! You're gonna fall! Stormy! Get down! God, this crazy cat must be like 25 feet in the air. She's nuts. She's like a ninja. <laughs> <laughs>